What's up guys, Tobias here and welcome to another FIFA 13 FIFA Ultimate Team screenshots which was actually released today at Gamescom. We all know everyone has gone to Gamescom and they are being allowed to play the FIFA 13 demo early and they actually managed to get their hands on these screenshots of the FIFA Ultimate Team which is going to be this year's Ultimate Team within FIFA 13 so it is extremely different to that of the Ultimate Team in FIFA 12. Obviously it's running a tab system as you can see, play, squad, store, trade and club are all along the top and then as you navigate between those five different options it all comes out in like a tile format in front of you so you've got the single player tournament there the single player seasons which is a new aspect being involved into FIFA 13's ultimate team this year you've got online seasons as well which is the online version of that single player seasons um, so this is the screenshot we managed to get for trade as well um, again it is using the same tile format you've got the circ auctions there and it actually gives you a figure of how many live auctions are currently taking place so as you can see there is 1,208,640 45 current auctions when this screenshot was taking place. Underneath that then uh, the tiles get smaller as you can see. We've got the trade pile, we've got the watch list, pretty standard stuff. And then on the right hand side you can move over to the gold players search, uh, the player search, the contract search and Man City uh, player search. So I don't know why that is Man City. Obviously you're going to have to wait as to why that is Man City. Everything else is pretty much standard the same. We've got the coins at the top right hand corner. We've got FIFA points which is new to this year's ultimate team. And then we've got the record. You can see that he's lost one game so we obviously isn't getting the grips of FIFA 13. Um, this is the new aspect into Ultimate Team this year. We have single player seasons and obviously online seasons. Uh, this is the single player screenshot. Uh, it's the, exactly the same as what you played on head-to-head -head seasons in FIFA 12, but it's literally been moved over to um, Ultimate Team because they were saying in the Gamescom conference that head-to-head -head season was the most popular game mode. I would have thought that would be an Ultimate Team, but apparently it wasn't. It was head-to-head -head season. So they've copied that over to Ultimate Team, and as you can see there, you just work your way up the divisions, gaining points. Obviously, three points for a win, uh, one for a draw, and zero for a loss. And you have to get yourself to that division promotion. And then, if you actually can see there, they've got a gold line to reach as well. And if you do get there, then you do win a trophy, and you actually have a trophy cabinet in this year's Ultimate Team as well. Um, so this is the screenshot of what your what is going to look like it is pretty much exactly the same as it was in FIFA 12. Obviously, they've just got some upgraded uh, graphics there. You've got the summary of the squad on your right hand side with the rating and chemistry of the manager underneath that. Your left hand side, you've got the formation, subs, and reserves are on the bottom there, pretty much standard. Then you just got your squads. So obviously, we've got David Luiz there, which is 79 rated. Vidic, even though he's been out pretty much the whole of last season, he is the best centre back in the game this year, 89 rated. Um, we've got Cahill there, 77 centre mid. Who've we got else? We've got uh, the Ox up front. Uh, he's left wing but he's in the striker position there at 75 rating obviously we've got Messi obviously they, of course they're going to stick Rossi in this screen and um, Rossi Messi um, I was thinking of De Rossi Messi up there 94 rated um, this is the last screenshot we've been shown today and it is the um, ultimate team web app as you can see there is an inform Oxlade Chamberlain and he's 82 rated I don't know if this means anything or it's just a complete example and this obviously is pretty much exactly the same as the web app was for FIFA 12 so that is all the screenshots we've been given there's only the five if you did enjoy this video then please leave your comments and thoughts in the comments section below i'm interested to see what you say and if you're looking forward to the new things they've actually integrated into fifa 13's ultimate team this year so that's all for this video if you do enjoy it please do leave a comment uh leaving your opinions and until my next episode i'll speak to you guys later take care